<laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Life and Travel Meets. Today we are in a very quiet village here in Goa. We are in Aldona. Sit tight because today we are taking you through some small roads to this beautiful village in the inner part of North Goa. My name is Jordi, this is Hekyong, and together we are the Lifetime Travel Mates. We left our home four years ago to travel around the world and the global pandemic got us happily stuck here in Goa. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next episodes. We decided to come because we've never been here and we heard good things. We even saw some video that said this is the most beautiful village in the world. So we had to check by ourselves, right? Aldona is a charming village located a bit far from the crowded and popular beaches and coast of North Goa. Getting there is a nice road trip along pleasant landscapes with rice fields, coconut tree roads, beautiful Goan houses and nice churches, chapels and temples. Since it's not on the usual tourist belt, you won't find many cars or bikes on the road, so you can fully enjoy the ride without worrying too much about traffic. So yeah, Aldona is located a few kilometers east of Mapusa city. Actually, the river called Mapsa passes by Aldona, but it's not a flat village like you would think because there's a river, but it's a bit hilly as well. As you can hear, this place is so quiet. We can just hear some birds, some eagles, uh, some dogs and some people working over there, but oh my god, these eagles are amazing! This is the St. Thomas Church, it's one of the most iconic places here in this small village. We have arrived in Aldona, such a beautiful town. And then now we are in San Thomas Church and they have some things here. <laughs> what things? <laughs> look around. This is some special Christmas thing, I think. Some nativity scene. Oh. I thought those were weird people. But... <laughs> That's a uh... Heineken? No. Come on, turn on the lights. <laughs> 
Is it open? Okay, not not that one inside. Yeah, you go this way. This is a crib. Okay. So you go inside of the church. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Are you from here? Yes, very much. Thank you. We are heading to the restaurant. For dinner, we went to Andron Restaurant, a place with authentic Goan food in the village of Nachinola between Aldona and Moira. The first time we wanted to try Andron, we arrived a bit too late and they were closing. So this time we made sure we were there as soon as they opened for dinner. with a bunch of veggies, onion, chili, of course, and spices, many spices. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be a feast. We have, of course, goa bread, boy, round and fluffy. What's the sauce? It's, how they call it, comfort food. It's very comforting. It feels like, to me, it feels very homey. <laughs> homey food. It's amazing. You're gonna love it. Flavor is softer, it's not as strong, so you can keep eating with some bread, maybe fries, it's kind of finger food, maybe. This one is more heavy, a bit more spicy, it's, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, but that kind of food that you might have enough at some point, you know what I mean? What about you? Which one do you prefer? Beef chili fry or pork chops? 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of pork, so I would have to go. I mean, not have to, but I think the beef chili is better for me. But still, I think the sauce itself is amazing. This um, pork chops, and then the texture-wise, I like more the uh, beef chili. But anyway, both of them are amazing. Really nice. Even though I'm not a huge fan of pork, I really, I really loved it. I really loved it. And this is the end of today's episode. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. And look who's enjoying the pork ribs. <laughs> I feel like a dog enjoying a pork rib, pork bone. I mean, there's a reason why restaurants are famous, right? This is one of the reasons why these places.